Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a really exciting book. This is a legendary book. Look at the cover of this book. This is just awesome. This is a book on differential equations. So if you're studying differential equations, in theory you could actually buy this book, read it, and understand some of it. This is a book from the 1800s. Let me just turn it over on the side here so you can see Differential Equations by Forsyth. Look at the binding. I wish you could smell the book. It has a very peculiar smell. Uh, it's really, really old. I mean, what a book. Check this out. Look at that. That's just wow, wow. So this is considered like the Differential Equations book by many people. It's a legendary book. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the inside cover. It says Merchant Taylor School, presented by the Merchant Taylor School Company to, and then it has someone's name, for proficiency in mathematics. I mean, look at these colors. I mean, this is just ridiculous. This is like nothing like you would see today. And let me just turn the page, look inside this. So nothing here. Let's go further in. It says a treatise on differential equations by Andrew Russell Forsyth. Wow, wow. Second edition, 1888. That is so old. Just absolutely amazing. And again, every time I open a, every time I turn a page, I could smell it. Um, really, really, really strong old book odor. I think a lot of times uh, old books like this are intimidating. You might think, oh, they're really, really advanced. This one is, but it's differential equations. So if you know some differential equations in theory, you should be able to read this book. So chapter one is an introduction. Chapter two is on differential equations of the first order. Look at the long names of the sections. You know, he really, really breaks it down. Lots of little, little tiny sections. Chapter three is on the general linear equation with constant coefficients. Chapter four is on miscellaneous methods. Wow. Yeah, really, really old school. The, the, the titles of these sections are very, very long and very descriptive. Uh, not something you would see in a book today. Chapter 5 is on integration in series, kind of an interesting topic. Chapter 6 is on hypergeometric series, and so now you see it's becoming a little bit more advanced. This is not something you often see in newer differential equations books. Let's keep going through the contents. Chapter 7. Solution by Definite Integrals, Chapter 8, Ordinary Equations with More Than Two Variables. Tons of information. It's a pretty thick book. Chapter 9, Partial Differential Equations of the First Order. I'll just scan the page slowly so you can see. This is a treatise, so it's supposed to, I guess, have everything. It's not just a book. It's a treatise. And again, this is considered the book on differential equations by many people. It's one of the classic books, one of the first, I guess, really full comprehensive treatments of the subject. And there's the last of it, uh, so you see it. Let's take a look at the introduction. Chapter one, introduction. When one variable quantity y is a function of another variable quantity x, the relation between the two may be exhibited by means of an equation such as phi of xy equals zero. In this equation, constants may occur. And then it goes on and on and on. So it's written at perhaps a higher level than a lot of the other books written today. But if you have some mathematical maturity, I really think um, it's a quite readable book. Here's the section on linear equations of the first order. So dy dx plus py equals q. So if you've taken some differential equations, you will quickly recognize that piece as the familiar integrating factor, e to the integral of big P. So nothing has changed in you know however many years it's been since 1888. So math is undying. And in this book, you can see how it was the same back then as, as it is today. I just want to emphasize how thick this book is. I mean, this book is extremely comprehensive and it really has everything. Um, if you're looking for a book on differential equations, if you can find this for a few dollars, um, I think it's worth getting. I think I paid, 
uh, about 20 bucks for this book and it came from England so uh, I think I got it on eBay and it was from uh, an overseas seller uh, really really hard um, to get uh, these old books the book has examples and it wants you to prove the examples however it does not give you uh, solutions to these examples now it does give you other examples it's just uh, the way it does the exercises is it calls them example one, example two, example three, etc. And then you're just supposed to uh, figure it out. So there are no solutions, which is a downside. But uh, I don't think it's that big of a downside. There's other books, other DE books with solutions. You know, there's videos on the Internet. Um, this book is really just like a, a glimpse into the past. Um, and it's a treatise. In theory, it has everything uh, that's important on differential equations, or at least most of it. It has way more information than you would find in any uh, typical modern book on differential equations. Again, the book is A Treatise on Differential Equations by Forsyth. This is a legendary book from the past. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And of course, if you really want to help out, consider becoming a member. Until next time, take care.